We're reading from Shivilapa Kusumanjali, verse 8. Low goddess. Take, take my. Are you allowed the voice? Oh goddess. If it's very near. Yeah, yeah. Oh goddess. More near. I am helpless and afflicted in the middle of an ocean of sorrow. Oh goddess, I am helpless and afflicted in the middle of an ocean of sorrow. Please take me to the wonderful abode of your lotus feet in the powerful boat of your mercy. Please take me to the wonderful abode of your lotus feet in the powerful boat of your mercy. Understand. Read again. O Goddess Radhika, I am helpless and afflicted in the middle of an ocean of sorrow. Just. I am infected. From what? From my senses. From my body. From my mind. Is affecting me to be in bodily consciousness. Oh my Goddess. Oh my Swamini Radhika. I am very affected and I am in very much in sorrow of my bodily consciousness. Because, because of this, I cannot develop my spiritual identity. I cannot know who I am. What is the reason to come in this life? What I am doing, only I am doing to please my senses, body and mind. And this senses is bringing me always out in sorrow, in suffering. And I am trying to get peace, love and happiness, but it's very far to understand this. My mind is teaching me to come from the sorrow, but it's not possible, because my identification is only material, flesh, what I am not there. I never identify myself that I am a soul. Why this effect is there? Effective to be in the soul consciousness because of my body and mind and my flesh. After knowing this is the plastic body, <coughs> you get the plastic surgery or not? If something happens to you, then this is the plastic body, then this is a plastic surgery. And knowing after that I forget. I know, I have an idea that my senses was young, different, old, different. After knowing this, I am affected with this. My mind is bringing always for pleasing these things. So this is big affection, this is big sorrow in my life. This is my big suffering, I create myself for myself, for me. To forgetting myself is my suffering.
I try to get help from the Krishna also. But he only said that I am a soul, you are a super soul, and the philosophical knowledge he gave. But he never show the catch my hand and bring what is the way to go. Because soul is a very neutral, marginal potency. You know this. Soul is a marginal potency. Tatastha sakti, right, Maharaj? Marginless? <laughs> Margin. This side ocean is there, and this side, this side land is there, and you are in the sorrow, you are walking, sometime you go to swim in the ocean, and sometime you walk in the field. So this is my choice to enjoy the my body ily consciousness, and sometime when I come to the influence of goodness, my mind become peaceful to listen some philosophy. This is happening. When I go in good association, I do this way and that way. This is my sorrow that here going, there going, how I can fix myself? I can come out from this. <coughs> Read again. Oh, Goddess. Oh, Goddess. Krishna is not working to me, <laughs> no helping to me. For <laughs> thirty years I practice to him in no help. Only say soul and super soul. You have motherly love you have. You can help me. You are my goddess before he was my god, but I accept you, you are my goddess. Because you have only love to give, compassion to give. You have teaching me tolerance. I am ready to do every tolerance. Show me the way how to go with, in your direction. Yes, Baba? Yes. Yes, Baba. <laughs> Janita. I'm helpless and afflicted in the middle of an ocean of sorrow. <laughs> it's a big sorrow. <laughs> come out from this. <coughs> yeah. Mm. Please take me to the wonderful abode take me. of your lotus feet. Take me. I want you take me. Then mother say, this goddess say, Okay, I will give you the form. You live where you are. You do what you are doing. I give you the form. I will be I will show you the way to go. Why? When there is a form, then marginal potency is not there. Margin is only there when there is a light. You see? This is the marginal potency. This is in neutral relation, this light and this bulb. Is a super soul and this is soul. If it's in light form, is a is a neutral position. Is no relation. Because I see on, I go to the temple, but I cannot see Krishna. I see this is is a is a murti, a stone murti, is a wood murti. This is this this is a this because of neutral relation. I no see Krishna there because I am only spark or light. I just saw.
but Krishna helped me to bring up to here. Now you have to help me, my my goddess. How I go further? I become tired with this way and that way, this way and that way. Go on. Please take me to the wonderful abode of your lotus feet. Your lotus feet. You know? If I want to abode in the lotus feet of female, I have to become female. I, how I can go to the lotus feet of the any ladies if I am a male? I did this mistake once. Yeah. <laughs> they will kick you out. Oh, he became so angry. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and, and, but if you can go, you have a right to go. If you are female, can go, not only dress her, huh? decorate her. One lady, five lady can go in one room and they can dress alone. But one, his husband will go and say, wait, you stay outside, I am dressing. Why? Because this is the nature of the female. So, I need your lotus feet, means I need your mercy to get my female consciousness. Now, this is the point, what is female and what is male? You see, all are sitting here, right? This flesh is a male. This body, this senses, conscious, bodily consciousness is a male. Every female and male is male, bodily. Why? The nature of male is to enjoy. Enjoyment tendency will never go if you are in the bodily consciousness. This is the nature of the male to enjoy. And the, what is the nature of the female to enjoy it by enjoyer? This is female consciousness. And what is that female consciousness? When you come to the soul consciousness in your spiritual identity of your form, as if that this soul is is a Radhika Dasi, then you not want to enjoy, you want to enjoy it by enjoy. Enjoy it by enjoy. This is your spiritual activities start happening. You become young girl. Your bodily consciousness go out. The soul is never old. Any old man, you ask, your inside soul is young. Yes, 83. How old? 82. 82. She is young girl. Why? Because she identify her relation with Jagannath. She is young, dancing, happy. She, 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 she slip, she slip with Jagannath. Say. What did I must say to a German? <coughs> English. Translate. What they? Yeah, yeah, I, I can translate. Yeah. What uh, what say most I uh, 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 du du solltest sa erzählen, was du mit Chaganat so machst. Deine Beziehung zu Chaganat. You are sleeping oh. alone. No. Never. <laughs> that, that, that. <laughs> <laughs> 
स्पिरिचुअल फॉर्म दिस इज मंजरी स्वरूप महाप्रभु अपियर्स टू गिव दिस identification in life and this whole night no whole day and night you do you talk about night because that is more special yeah. personal but yes. day time also you use yes. sports yes. <laughs> it's much district as uh, so private night uh, night time you are here and this is here so much many people are there so privacy is not <laughs> <laughs> private night time is more private sports are going on you see this is the beauty this is the spiritual form is a your soul when it's revoked that makes a sports that is the reality of our life and that is the perfection in our life sarup siddhi that is siddhi this is siddha purush that is perfection when he develop his high spiritual identity and he live in perfection she got in 2 years she is fixed she live in vrindavan she live in any place or she goes to the germany or sweden every place she is like this yes in the cold time she sleep in the car <laughs> in here comes she sleep outside room is out because she need more sports private <laughs> we, we wanted offer her a, a room And room is there but for storage she didn't take it she wanted to sleep in her car yeah. he <coughs> spiritualized here is this this is stage we have to grow in our life we so many time do sports in material world but real sports when my spiritual identity is revoke my i identify myself who i am and i play and <coughs> dance and always sports with my lover go on please take me to the wonderful abode of your lotus feet yes in the powerful but, but i want to, i want to be your abode to become like you you bless me that i identify myself my spiritual form i want to be only you no other business i want from you your love i want your compassion your kindness you must see come in my life and my life become change how you give how you do i want to learn that <coughs> that is the center guru is the way is Jesus also say i am the way guru wants to bring you to radhika's center mm. that is the goal of the he is the he guru is the servant of radhika why he want his center guru is the what you say 
navigator who show you and bring to Radhika and take shelter of there. Hmm. She will teach you what I will teach you. Follow her. Yeah. Take me to the wonderful abode of your lotus feet in the powerful boat of your mercy. Yeah, mercy. Yeah. Now go on. Yes. When the mind is very agitated by feelings of separation. Agitation is there because I don't identify myself that I am living being. This is my agitation. Like, I go to America and I lose my address, come back, I lose my passport and I become crazy eh? and I don't know where is my home, what is my address. So what is going to happen to me? I will suffer or not? I don't know that any John is my friend. I don't know that my sons are living and I am sitting in the park and collecting the garbage, the Coca-Cola, steel bottle and papers, collecting. And somebody touch, I said, don't touch this, this is my property. My whole life I collect this for my life. What is this paper? This is note. Dollars I collect. This is my dollar I collect. This is my television, this is my car, this is my this, this is the bottles. Mm. I collect and I don't want to give to touch anyone because I know this is the everything, my wealth. I got it. One day, one friend come to me. He said, no, my dear, you have so many cars, you have so many houses, you have a nice children, a nice family, you have nice friends here. Why you don't want to go and see them? He said, what do you say? You want to steal my property? Go, go out from me. I have everything with me. This is happening because I forget my identity, myself, that I create suffering. I forget that I am a soul, I create suffering with my ideas. And I give suffering to others. They are suffering and I am suffering because of my <coughs> ignorance of not knowing myself. And what is not my, I say, this is, I have to hold it, because this is my whole, everything in my life. And I forget what I have before. What I have before is my living relation with, with the, my so, Goddess, Supreme Goddess. Some. Mm. When the mind is agitated by feelings of separation, the loving devotee may feel helpless and unfortunate. When this feeling of agitation, of separation comes from her, I am mistaken. I have to change my these habits. I have to know myself in my Sarupavesh. I have to be always with him. Don't I will suffer more in that. I have to identify and live in that. This is the agitation. Real suffering is not outside. We blame to others that I am suffering because of you, but suffering is coming from inside.
conflict is inside, fighting is going inside, irritation going inside. Hmm. Although he feels smashed by the pain of separation, he knows there's no other remedy than the direct attainment of Sri Radhika's audience and service. Yeah. Audience, the group of Radhika and the service of Radhika is the only hope who can fix my spiritual identity. So you know, everybody knows, after that you cannot fix. But if you want to fix in soul consciousness, you need sarup for that, form for that. So you cannot fix yourself in soul. When form will come, you will relate. When the relation will come to you, you will never forget, because you in relation, you never forget your lover. You never forget your friend. Never forget your mother and father. You see the Jesus life. Jesus come, only he, he is by behavior, he's, he knew the make new testament. Right? Why he make new testament? My question. When there is a testament, why he make new testament? Because the old testament is only philosophy. He say the new testament is important because the love philosophy is different. So he talk about love and he make new testament. Now. Based of New Testament, I say you, love based is first he say, I'm a son, he is my father. Right or not? Why he says son or father? This is philosophy or what? This is the real uh, New Testament philosophy. Only son can understand father. The person cannot understand God, but son can understand father. Same, God will understand by son, not with the person who has no relation. If I have no, I believe in God, I will never understand God because I have no relation. But son has a relation because of the father, Father will know son very well, and son will know father very well. Any son can say that I don't know my father, and father can say I don't know my son. Very well. Is a nature of love to relation. So that way, he make this not soul only, the identification of soul becomes son here. He has the same thing. The soul becomes friend of Radhika, so it want to be a group in Radhika, so they become, soul become the friend of Radhika. Somebody says, servant of Radhika. <coughs> then they can understand. The group they can understand, and they can understand Radhika. Same way. This is the philosophy of love. Sambandha again. Read the Bhagavad Gita, Prabhupada. <coughs> Start with relation. Twenty-two type he write in page four. Always I show to everyone. Relation is the way of philosophy, of love.
and from the heart, from the soul relation. Not with the flesh relation will never work. You will do and it will finish. Bye bye. <laughs> it's over now. Because it's a body relation. Body love. Love for the body, love for the senses. Yes. Love from the mind. Love from the flesh is a different relation. And love from the heart and soul is a different relation. Understand? What relation you want? Art from the soul or from the senses? Yes. Both. Both will not work. <laughs> relation works from one way. Even the family life relation also <laughs> exists. You see, these couples are sitting. They are t long time. You see, Madhuri Rasa and Satvrata. In the Western world, they are married from long time. How many years? Forty. Forty years. Yeah. <laughs> Why? Because they have soul-to-soul -soul relation, you see. Mm. In old age, they sit like a lovers. <laughs> yeah, you see? <laughs> Satsbrata cannot sit without Madhuri Rasa, <laughs> and where she is there, she is there. This is the love, not physically, sense, what he will, they will do sense. How they will do is, is a retard. But the, but the, um, but the, um, but the soul is not retired. <laughs> <laughs> soul is not <laughs> because it's a relation from the soul to soul. So many conflict happen, no mind is over. They don't mind it. This is the relation, a spiritual relation, divine relation. Divine. And this is the thing. You all come by the Jesus. Jesus said, you here. Try to understand. He loves you. He said, you will not understand this. Go, Vrindavan. Mm. This is the place to understand. This I learned from there. Because you have to understand from Radhika. The uh, goddess of love can tell you about love. Who? Krishna? Krishna is a beggar. <laughs> Krishna is a beggar of the love. <clears throat> you have to believe it. I am not joking. Huh? He is a beggar of love. He could control the whole universe. <laughs> But he is in control of Radhika. See the um, scriptures, Chaitanya Chaitanya. He control. You go to any church. I show you how is the the God control whole universe and the the love control to the God, or not? Say me. Love is God. Any church you go, love is God. Love means Radhika. God means what you keep name. I have no conflict with that. But love is love is God. Without love, you cannot. You can move the mountains. But you cannot understand God. You cannot relate with Him. And if you have no relation, it's a bogus. 
You can move on the mountain as a mystic power, many mystical person. It's nothing. Yeah. So God is Radhika. <laughs> God is not Radhika. Love is God. God is not a big thing. Who control to the God is a big thing. That is love. <laughs> you are big thing. You have a love for him. That is a bigger thing. Devotees are bigger than him. Who has a love to give to him? He is a poor. He is bigger. He is taking. <laughs> huh? He takes the love of mother. You see, Mother Maria, he takes the love of mother. He takes the love of friend. He takes the love of his conjugal lover. See this. If you want to more details to know, you have to come here. He is not conflict there. <clears throat> You have to addition, you have to add more. And that addition is happening only by the grace of Vrindavan, no other place. Nobody will go and talk in your country about this subject. Are they honest? They will talk only philosophy. Yes. And philosophy will only to entertainment. <laughs> huh? Philosophy? I say you want philosophy. I say you. Jesus sacrifice for you. This is one philosophy. Is bolt to be in the wall, you bolt one bolt inside. Right? Jesus sacrifice for us. Right? One philosophy I give you. And I say it's wrong philosophy. Why he will sacrifice for us? We are two thousand years after. He never see us. How he can sacrifice for us? <laughs> that time? What is the reason that time to sacrifice for us? No, my dear. He sacrificed in his love with his father. Father likes to do, he do that. This is his love, intense for his father, he do that. Now, it's not easy to bring out this bolt. This is philosophy. So one philosophy, many philosophy make bolt in our mind and body to not to un go in the raga bhakti, loving relation. Yes. His flow is blocking. His blocking of flow is a bolting, <laughs> a mountain. <laughs> blocking, my dear, you understand. You want to block yourself, bolt it, many philosophy, <laughs> and you cannot enter in Raga Bhakti, loving relation. <clears throat> Krishna wants to bolt to Mother Jasoda. He opened his mouth and he said, in Soda in verse, he said, some magical things or black magic is coming to me. I said, how is my son? My son, nothing else. Is of all black magic. He cannot be a supreme. He ignored the board. This way we have to ignore the board. It's written there in the in the philosophy. If you want to go in Rasa, you have to ignore the board. <laughs> philosophy. Raga Bhakti is this a loving relation is this. You see the life of Jesus. I have a very good example to give. He ignored all the bolts. He never take any bolts inside him. He go out from there, 22 years missing days to remove all the bolts and body in the flow of love. 
any blocking is coming in our life because of my bolting. <laughs> I bolt so many things in my mind and ideas that make me block to flow. Uh, why the father wanted the son suffering? Huh? Why the father wanted that Jesus suffer? Jesus never son and father suffer. Actually, why father will give suffering to son? Yes. He can, father cannot dream suffering of son and mother. No. So the meaning that you say that Jesus is sacrificed for the father. No. No. Jesus in love, he don't bother to do anything for okay. father. This is the real son. Okay. This is the beauty of real son. He don't understand what will happen. He say, what my father like, I will do. Why I will bother? I want to make happy to my father in the circumstances for me, and I will do for happy. Today he is living, why? Because of his love. See in the positive direction of his divine love, beautiful love. Is a real love in the Western world, never any example like that. Love is meaning of this, I don't bother to do anything to fulfill your desire. I love you, and I love you, and I will love you. No son can do, my dear. And this, this son will say, no, you, I know the pain, why I will do this? They will come in argument to you. They will fight. This is this is the highest love he offered to his father. Highest. And I understand by the grace of Radhika. Go on. Raghunadas Goswami feels as if he is lying in the middle of an ocean of misery which knows no comparison in, the, in this mundane world. Mundane world, mundane world. This is my mundane world. Mundane world is not the outside. Mundane world is start from this mundane. <laughs> this mundane world is start from here. <laughs> this is mundane. We not see this, we see outside this, this mundane. Are mundane is start from mundane. <laughs> mundane. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. No amount of material or spiritual suffering. Material? Slowly, my dear. No amount of material or spiritual suffering can compare to it. Mm. No, no connector. I no connect. Read the. Sick microphone. Read the nicely. The, the microphone is just the distance. No, no. Uh, uh, sound. No, 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 no. His sound is high. This is Pandi Madhavan, the Puri special. The, the suffering he's, he's experiencing is so great, so it is, you cannot Thank describe you. it by any other material or spiritual suffering. Yes. Honestly, I am assessing one day, 
suffering is coming to me outside, or I create suffering for myself, then I assess my inner conflict makes suffering to me. Watchful, watch. You all watch yourself. How you will develop your spiritual consciousness when you will watch inside yourself. Your spiritual life will grow. All coming from my inner conflict, very irritation inside, it creates conflict and it comes from the mouth and I create suffering. It's all helping, my senses helping to go more in that suffering. <coughs> my mind is helping, my body is helping to create suffering because of inner conflict. And I blame, no, no, because of you this suffering happened to me. No, no, because of you this suffering happened to me. The wife said, because of husband suffering is coming. Husband said, because of wife is suffering coming to us. Are my dear, you create suffering because of your inner problem. So vibration become more and more expand inside than in house, then your vibration becomes so grow that every place is the negative vibration. <coughs> so after that, nothing we like. Please, please, not talk here. We don't like it. And then liking is not good. Then we sit alone and think and think, think and think. The, the spiritual thing is not giving me happy. Material thing is not giving me happy. It's, what is that? Life, what is this? It's spiritual and material. Everything is bad for me. Nothing is good. I, I can take up because uh, it must it was only physically. She wants to tell something how she is experiencing. This. I can make this. Can she ask? Chaka <laughs> Maya. Maya is uh, is. Uh, also das Nichtstun mhm. und der Chakanat, der spielt mit diesem Nichtstun. So she is saying Chaka Maya. Maya is the neutral thing, it's doing nothing. And Chaka, Chakanat, he is coming and he is starting to play with this nothing, with you this see. Maya. You see. This is the sports. <laughs> this is the sport game. It, it's so simple. <laughs> it, it's so simple. No reading any book, only realization of relationship. You imagine? <laughs> Jasoda Maya is not reading the philosophy. <laughs> Mother Mary is not reading the philosophy mm -hmm. of the... She is not reading the philosophy. <laughs> you see, she said the philosophy, what, what is the reality? Jaga and Maya is Maya, <laughs> and he played with his Maya, his sports. Hmm. But I must say Chaga Maya. Yeah. Yeah. There is my voice and there is my mind. So I go in the neutral automatic. Yeah? Right. 
जिससे गुड नाउ द पिक्चर ऑफ ए स्वीट नाउ द पिक्चर ऑफ ए स्वीट लीला पीज इन रघुनाथ नाउ इज दास्ट है Shri Radha Madhava are enjoying in the Kunja and Tulasi who is not different from Swamini in heart and body is engaged in fanning them mm-hmm. this Tulasi is Rati mm-hmm. this Rati is a manjari the soul when he identify he become manjari manjari is a very sensitive bird he is in the service watching to divine couple in his bedroom comfortable kunja they are resting they are come to exchange their ex- loving conjugal love you will give entry to anyone in your bedroom if you are conju- you are with conjugal lover in your with your conjugal exchange of your lover never you say everybody go out close the door here swamini is giving the entry of the spiritual identify soul come in and see my sports how we exchange love because you identify your soul living soul you are living as a tulsi manjari you can come help me here and without saying this your material desire will never finish your senses will never leave you you have to see this sports to forget your what you doing material consciousness bodily consciousness that you are the best i will see here your all suffering will go now During the amorous pastimes in which Krishna plays the passive role as a qualified hero Krishna faints <clears throat> out of ecstasy yeah faint he is overwhelmed by Radhika's madana mahabhav he faint by looking to only Radhika's bhav feelings madana ke mahabhav his loving his beauty his action she is ready to do everything for him and the tulsi is inside watching this that krishna is fed she start fanning putting water on the face of krishna <laughs> tulsi manjari guru manjari and your manjari so hmm go on. this is one of the kinkari's matchless services which can only be experienced by the rasika devotees yeah only experienced by the mercy of radhika and the associate of radhika <coughs> jai jai shri radhika mo ya mo sabde read one two line swamini sits up on the bed her dress disheveled but still a virgin it is as if sweetness drips from each of her limbs Our hero Krishna is maddened by that sweetness. 
in Chaitanya Charitamrita, when I see the sweetness of her body, Krishna says, after we made love, I am beside myself with ecstasy. Swamini then tells Krishna, Oh, beautiful one, please dress me quickly before my sakis come here and make fun of me. <laughs> you are? Our hero then eagerly sits down at Swamini's feet, ready to decorate her. Praneshwari says, Smear foot luck, this is red luck worn on the foot soles, smear foot luck around my feet. Lalji starts the job holding her Krishna, feet. Krishna, Krishna said. Krishna Lalji. starts the job holding her feet to his chest and getting immersed in their sweetness while looking at them. Just like in this picture. Impatiently, Swamini says, What are you doing? Chest, not breath. He is making Krishna decorating the breast of Swamini because he disturbed the coloring or everything. So she open, Swamini opened the breast. He said, Fix it nicely. And when he said, He is fainting. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, we no, slow, with slow, slow. Swamini says, What are you doing? Oh. Quickly, put the lack on. What will my girlfriend say if they see me like this? Oh. You destroy everything. Now, before they come, you make me a nice that nobody doubt on me. <laughs> Rade. <laughs> uh, my friends not blame me, something I do. Eh? Uh, mm. But our hero sometimes holds her feet to his chest, sometimes kisses them, and sometimes also paints some luck on them with trembling hands, as if he finally found the jewel but didn't know where to keep it. Some of the wet red luck gets stuck on Shyam's bluish chest, making it look like the rising sun in the dense darkness, or like a red lotus flower growing in the blackish water of the Amuna. This blazing red lack of loving Radhika's feet defeats the beauty of the Shrivat sign, the Kustuba gem, and the golden line that represents the goddess of fortune on Krishna's chest. Shyam is enchanted by the beauty of Sriji's feet. Chaitanya Charitamrita says, Krishna enchants the whole world, but Radhika enchants even him. <laughs> so she says, O oh, beautiful one, O oh, oh, my dear, I understand, you cannot do it. Come, Tulsi, you put this foot luck on. Krishna is doing, he says, you are not fit to do it. Because when he sees the Radhika's feet, sometimes he put in her chest, sometimes start kissing, sometimes bending, and <coughs> he not doing it. Then Radhika said, Tulsi, he is not fit to do, you do quick, I have to go. <coughs> so, to see push Krishna. Move. <coughs> Move corner. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Getting Swamini's order, Tulsi softly pushes Shyam and says, Move up! Why would you? Move! <laughs> You're useless. You, can, you cannot do it. I will do it. 
Just as Tulsi stretches out her hand to catch Swamini's feet, the transcendental revelation disappears and she begins to lament, thinking, Now I'm helplessly falling in an ocean of misery. Your lotus feet are my abode. Please take me there with the wonderful boat of your mercy across this ocean of suffering. Yeah. Right. This is the story of Goddess of Love. Teaching the the Tusi, the servant and friend of Radhika is pushing out God. You know it, and he's a Krishna. You see, it's not a he come like a flash and go. No, you can push here. He is so available there. He said, "Please give me one more chance. I will not do that. I can leave." He said, "Acha, okay, I give you one chance." <laughs> I can't, not doing, no, and how you cannot do, <laughs> go out. <laughs> this they can say. You become so close with Radha and Krishna to be a, make a sports with them, play with them. Sports means playing with them. Life is to pray, not to suffer, my dear. This is the art of living. Life is to play, to live happy, to be happy, to use your time in right place. <laughs> 